Guys, I have a very special video for you right now because we're talking all new trucks, truck ownership, first ever truck owner that I'll introduce you in a second, and also options. Because you can get a truck like this, which is the all new 2023 Chevy Colorado LT, which starts out as kind of a basic truck, but you could add many options to it. And with that comes a lot of cost. Or you can have something like this, which is a Trail Boss, brand new Colorado truck, also with options, but there could be some surprises hiding within. Um, this is also a dude, I love my new truck because I have uh, my new friend, Marcio. Nice to meet you. Hey, thanks for coming out. Thank you, of course, yeah. So I want to first start with your story with this truck, right? Yeah. So you recently moved to Colorado when? Uh, about um, mid-December, I moved to Colorado. Okay, yeah. so what, five or six months ago, right? About, yeah. So. And then you moved to Colorado and you immediately purchased the Colorado. That was the first thing I did. I told my wife, I'm moving to Colorado. First thing I'm going to do is buy a truck. Okay. I never owned a truck before. So, so where are you coming from? New York. New York, yeah. New York State. New York State, yeah. Okay. So, so what have you had before? This is your first truck, but what other vehicles have you owned? So uh, I've had mostly, I've had a BMW 325, I had an Audi A6, uh, then uh, I had a Sonata, and then eventually okay. I went to Subarus. And then okay. I've stuck to Subarus. I've had so like all-wheel drive all -wheel capability. All-wheel yeah. Okay. Yeah. But now, I mean, there's a few more open spaces here. <laughs> so you wanted to pick up trucks. So how come? Well, I wanted to start playing around a little bit more. You know, when I first came to New York, uh, to Colorado and I, and I started to house shop, I, I was able to rent a Tacoma. Okay. And then my wife and I decided to go to parks and start doing some fun stuff. And that, that was it. I was sold. So yeah. why Chevy then? I wanted a new generation truck. Okay. So I was looking at the Tacoma, I was looking at the Ranger, and I was looking at the new Frontier. Okay. But, and then it became between this and the Frontier. Okay. Uh, but the Frontier, although new, it seemed old to me. The interior looked old, you know. I hear great things about it. But when I saw the Colorado, the interior was great. Uh, the look outside is amazing. And that was it. And December, I put an order on one and I just got it this week. Okay, so both of us actually. So the trail bus truck um, is, belongs to me. So let's walk around. Let's kind of step back here and kind of take a look at these trucks. Um, and I think you and I both had similar kind of mentalities because we wanted something a little bit more basic, right? Yeah. But yeah. then you also wanted some convenience features. I started so, going a little crazy. Well, tell me <laughs> about this. Yeah, so I, I, I had originally ordered the trail bus like you. Okay. But then, uh, you know, as I'm looking at the trail bus, the inside was very uh, WT, you know? Very work truck. Very work truck. Yeah. And my wife is like, no, I need my heated seats. Okay. So I started with that. All right, so, so you chose the LT, which is so it goes work truck, LT, LT is the next yeah. level. But then you started going a little bit crazy with options. Yeah, yeah. You know, it, it's the way Chevy does their packaging. Uh -huh. It makes it a little bit difficult to kind of narrow down to certain specific uh, So, features. for example, you said heated seats were important Heated to seats you. were important. Yes, during the winter months, of course. Correct, yeah. And then heated steering wheel kind of comes along with it. Yeah, and, and I think, if I'm not mistaken, it comes in a separate package than the heated seats. So, yes. you know, they, that's how they get you. But also, it's a little bit confusing, right? It, it's very confusing. It's very confusing. I wish that uh, Chevy would narrow their packages down a little bit more. Uh, you know, some of the safety features that I consider a safety feature are not included in the safety package. So you have to then get another package in order to get the things that for me are important, like blind spot monitor, blind spot monitoring yes. and rear pedestrian, especially because this is new to me. Yeah, so you're not used to kind of this, the, I'm not the, used the to bed that. area, I'm right? I'm always looking at my back, like when making turns, this okay. is all new to me. You know, you get concerned with other pe people with, uh, with rear traffic alert. So, you know, then it starts adding up and no regrets, but you know. So you're enjoying your new ownership I, I, so I'm far. I'm absolutely loving it. Well, let, let's, uh, we looked at the passenger side. Let's keep going. Let's look at the driver's side as well and kind of go. And then the trail bus, like you said, starts as more of a work truck trim. Yeah. And then it gets a little bit higher suspension. Yeah. Uh, slightly, you know, wider width. They, they add these kind of flares. Which I on. like very much. Yeah. So maybe it's possible for you to add them to your truck. Th that's the go. Um, I don't and, know if I'll ever go this thick. I know that I think the... the 
Now the ZR1 doesn't come with this anymore. Like I know. Oh, the, the uh, Z71. Z71. Yes. The previews, the when they had the, in the beginning, they were showing with these, but they're not shipping with these. They're shipping just like these now. Yeah, um, and then of course you can get a bigger tire eventually, yeah. or maybe even a little bit more aggressive tire. For sure, yeah. Um, yeah. I mean. The sky is the limit. The really. goal here is to eventually making this into a, a budget overlander. You know, I want to have some fun outside. You know, for now it's going to be for work and mostly city driving, and you know, weekend fun. Okay. But hopefully, you know, I'll build up and. So let me just show you a little bit more simple interior. So let's take a look at this first. So in this more simple trail bus, first of all, manual seats. Yeah. We'll show your power seats in a second. Uh, very kind of basic. Uh, not too bad, but a little bit plasticky yeah. steering wheel. Of course, I'm infamous for not cruise getting control. cruise control. Yeah. You have that. I do have that. Regular cruise can, control. Can I borrow your buttons? Sure, for... you can borrow the buttons. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I'm joking. Um, uh, and it's important so for four-wheel drive. Um, and that's also not very understood, right, by people. Because I have drive modes and Correct. also low-range gearing. Yes. I have a, I'll, I'll show you. Do you want to jump in? Yeah, yeah. Oh, a big difference getting into this one. A little bit taller? It's a little bit taller for sure. Yeah. Okay. So it comes a little bit with the suspension and also the tire. The tire yeah. is also a little bit larger. Um, but see, one, once again, so plastic. Yeah, mine's plastic, like a full leather. And we'll show that in a yeah. second. I also love on yours, it is an accent different material. But this is what I wanted to show you. So, and it's part of it why I kind of wanted the Trail Boss. Yeah. Of course, I, I, I wish I could have got the ZR2, you know, top of the line truck. Let, let it, um, too much beeping. But I wanted to save a little bit of money, still get a little bit of her capability. So I have too high, I have automatic mode, which is kind of like all wheel drive, like in the Subaru Correct. in a way. Yeah. Um, four high, so it's always four wheel drive. Uh, basically, and then for low, which I do not have. Yes, and I also have this, so I turn, and I have a few modes. So yeah, that's really cool. I wish I had that on mine. But once again, it's almost like you can't combine everything in one, yeah. unless you buy like a ZR2, which is but, working sixty thousand dollars, or maybe fifty plus, right? Between yeah. fifty and sixty. Um, and then also, how important was uh, towing a trailer to you? So. For me, not right now, right? Because for me, I'm, I'm very new to trucks, so I'm still getting comfortable in driving one. You know, yeah. the, the the view is still a little, not uncomfortable, but yeah. you know. Different, right? Different. Yeah. But trailing, I've never done. Okay. Uh, my mother-in-law has a boat in New Jersey and she does a little bit of trailing, but I've never touched it. So yeah, yeah. I think eventually I want to put it, if if I'm able if, to, if it's possible, if it's possible, re do reasonable it. amount of money, right? Yes. So yeah. so I mean, and so for low, it's really really important when you're climbing over some obstacles because um, the gearing in the for low allows you to go slower but still make progress. Yeah. Right. But if you're running gravel roads, you know, more simple off roading, you really don't need that, right? I mean, it only comes in when you're actually doing something, you know, a little bit more challenging. Now, would the, because, you know, this is new to me, so would the auto help me with that, something like that too? Would the auto kind of help me if I'm going down and I need to go a little slow or? Well, the, you could also um, just put use low. the gearing. So yeah. put it in low and then kind of select first gear. Oh, yeah, right? you gotta play with that. Yeah. Um, because you can, you see how it goes, you know, oh, you can yeah. kind of see the top gear so and it's basically what that means is if it's in third it will use between one two and three it won't go above three okay so that kind of would help you slow down but without the additional gearing of the low um you won't get you won't get that mechanical advantage you know okay. the gearing yeah. advantage but you can use the transmission to help you okay well, that's you good know, know going a little slower um so so my truck started out at about 38,000. Okay. And I put almost $3,000 of option on mine. Yeah. Um, that was uh, the additional tires, the crazy color. <laughs> the, I love, I, I was thinking of your color, but I didn't know if I could pull it off, but it looks really good. It was a risky yeah. thing. And then these seats, 
was like $1,200 yeah, just have for the material. Too, yeah. So let's jump into yours because I want to see the differences, especially with the climate control system, the steering wheel, the trim. Yeah. Let's see what other options you got. Great. Well, actually, let's start in the front really quick because you have LED lights. Yes. So that was part of uh, one of the packages. And, and my, the, it comes standard with halogen lights. Yes. But I wanted to get LEDs. I just... So let me turn, uh, maybe we can turn it on, but you yeah. get the signature. I think the key is in here. So let me turn that on. Can you see the signature? Yeah, it's, it's on. So yeah, you can see the LED. And then you have the fog lamps, Correct, yeah. which I don't. Um, I, I think otherwise our bumpers are almost similar and we both have chin spoilers. Yeah, you have a little more black cladding over yeah, here. Yeah. Yeah, I have body collar. But. but so I really wish I just could buy fog lamps by themselves. Yeah. And I, I wasn't able to. Um, so I might add that later, you know, potentially. And I'm sure that you can, in the system allows you. you it's getting more complicated, this is, right? That's the problem with this, right? Like I, I love running my fog lights at night. Just, I just more for looks than, yes. than but yeah. it's always, you have to go into the screen to do that. And I just not a fan of that. I wish they would have kept uh, just a nice some, button on some, the side. Yeah, mechanical buttons. So that's the first thing. You got LED lamps up front, also in the also back. Also in the back, yeah, halogen uh, blinkers, but uh, LEDs, yeah. More like, a lot like the Silverado. So that's a cool design. It looks really cool. Yeah, but they still left the bulbs, like you yeah. said. I mean, if I'm paying for LEDs, I wish they would have done LEDs. All right? LED. All LED. Yeah. Yes. Uh, by the way, um, I'm playing around with mine. I actually got replacement LED bulbs. Yeah. So I'm playing around with that. It looks a little bit more premium. Okay. Let me show you. Yeah, because me... I actually switched all my Subra, I switched all my lights to LEDs. So. So. Oh yeah, look, that looks nice. So I don't know if you could tell. So this is the older factory bulb. And I'm, I'm playing around. Um, there's an LED bulb in here. It's almost the same brightness, maybe a little brighter, but it has a little bit more premium appearance to me. Is it easy to change? Yes. Yeah. Two screws, let me show you. Um, two screws, and then you kind of pull mm -hmm. a little bit back. And then it's just by hand, you're opening up the bulb and just replace the bulb. No, 60 it's, seconds. It's going to get done now. 60 seconds, done. I, I, I'm very good at taking things apart, not so good at putting <laughs> things back together. Um, so at least that they made very, very simple. Also, I don't have any storage yeah, in my the tailgate. Flex. That's something that uh, it wasn't a necessity for me, but I'm glad I got it because I like to with my business, I do carry a lot of stuff. So to be able to just have some uh, uh, cables and some uh, yeah. some equipment there. So good. let's um, actually finish with the outside and then we'll jump inside yeah. because you have almost $8,000 of options, yes. right? Yes, yeah. Yeah, Mike, it started at 37, I think. So it starts be below the trail boss. Correct. But then you're now above the trail boss yes. in price. Yeah. And it comes, yeah, with the standard comes with the 265 horsepower engine. And you, you chose the uh, upgraded, right? I the did, plus. I, and I chose the upgraded not so much because I thought 235 was low. It's just because I wanted to go to the 430 pound feet eventually. of torque eventually. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so that's kind of where I was too. Yeah. So in the new Colorado, you can have three power options. Um, you can have the basic, they call it kind of work truck configuration. Yeah. Then there's the Turbo Plus, 310 horsepower and 390 pound-feet of torque, which both of us have. Correct. And then uh, the manufacturer, Chevrolet, actually provides a tune that you could add at the dealer. I think it's about $400 yeah. maybe. Um, and you can go to the high output version of, of the torque. And you also have bed liner, Correct. which I didn't yeah. get, which I will do separately. And you got this plug. Correct. Which I like. Yeah, because I, I make chocolates for a living, so I have to have uh, portable fridges. Uh huh. So I want to make sure I can plug it in. Did you say you make chocolates? Yeah, yeah. Oh. We're starting a company uh, over here in Colorado. I, I like chocolates. Yeah, I'll be sending you guys <laughs> can, some. Can we open this? Yeah, for sure. There's nothing in there. So it's a little storage. Yeah. You know what I like? Uh, they also have accessories. Um, I think I saw, like, you can even put a little stereo speaker yeah, in yeah. here. I actually saw it last night. Yeah. And, no, and then 
of course, I think you can put some like tie downs so you can tie some downs so it doesn't rattle. So that's pretty nice. All right, let's jump inside. Okay. Do you mind if I go on the driver? Yeah, that's the one thing with mid-sized trucks. I was, you know, I knew the spaces were gonna be a little smaller in the back. That's okay. But it's nice. Yeah, it's just me and my wife and the dogs. I mean, because you're in there also in the biggest city. You're near Denver, right? Yeah. So you need to be maneuverable, yeah. right? Uh, F-150 was the one. I was looking at a Lightning because we wanted to go electric. Uh -huh. But the Lightning, it's just impossible to afford right now. Yeah, so we had the Lightning Lariat at the TFL Studios yeah. and it was almost 80,000, yeah. right? Yeah. And, and they're still really popular, yeah. so. Let me, so this is what you're talking about digital controls for Correct. the lights and if you see you can even over here you, you don't even have the fog light one so for the fog light you have to go here and then turn on the fog light there separately which yeah. is like give me a button yeah make it in one place right at least yeah have the fog lights right there and i'd be happy yes well maybe they'll maybe they're listening a softer update will be easy. maybe they're listening so first of all the screens are the same size Correct. right this is 11.3 and then this is an eight inch screen yeah um so our gauges look identical yeah as far as i can change my gauge to look like this um oh you have a camera um, yeah yeah dash cam right dash cam yeah okay so you wired that in um and then but this is very different so so your your four-wheel drive control you see you have a little tow haul boat correct uh, button so maybe you can add towing wiring to this i'm, I'm hoping so yeah I was not expecting this. I was expecting to see a, a, a I don't know, like a four low. Or, or a hill descent, maybe? Something, yeah. something So something this was like a that. nice surprise. <laughs> so two high, automatic, kind of all-wheel drive mode, and four high. So, and then also, you don't have, you cannot turn this no. now. So uh, yeah, I don't have any, any But options. I'm quite jealous. You know why? You have some color here. Yeah, yeah, it's a little more. And eventually, I want to play with this, too. Yeah, you have some color. This is a little bit softer material. You got some stitching. And I think the good part about some of this, like this knee, this knee section, it just pops out. Yeah. So you can replace it with something and, else. And I got, I, I, I plan on going to the GMC dealership and trying to get a leather one. And it actually came from your last video that you mentioned it. And I was like, oh, that's a good idea because I keep hitting it over here. Yeah. It's, and it's, it's not terrible, but. It's not the best. That's kind of some some trucks are. If you buy a bigger work truck, sometimes you have a third seat in here. Yeah. And there is an open space, but a lot of them have consoles like yeah. this. Then you have wireless charging. Correct. Yeah. I don't. Yeah. That came on one of the packages too. Nicer steering wheel, heated he steering wheel. Cruise control. Cruise control, of course. Um, so I'm hoping I can add that to mine. I'm still wor I'm working on that because I want to ask the dealer, okay. right? Um, I also like this accent. Is yours black? Yeah, oh, mine okay. is all black. So it just adds a little bit more nice touch. Yeah. Um, and also we have the Bose system too. Premium stereo. Which is something I did not order, but they made sure to put it in there for me for $500. <laughs> oh, was that a separate package? Yeah, uh -huh. I did not know. It wasn't okay. even part of any of the packages. Okay. It's just an extra. But I think the way they build the trucks, once you put a certain amount of packages, just throw it in there and they still charge you. It wasn't a free option. So, yeah, as we're talking about some of the options, by the way, you have automatic climate control system. Yeah, heated seats. Heated that seats. That was a wife's must. Yes, so you got that. Um, some of the digital controls are about the same. So for example, oh, I wanna ask you about, f well, fuel economy, you only have 253 miles. Yeah, yeah. So the engine is brand new, so. Uh, we probably won't get very accurate numbers. No. Yeah, I'm uh, hitting between 16 and I, I did my best was 21. Um, so 18, I'm about the same. I'm just below 18 average for my life of my truck. Oh, 21.9. Yeah, I drove to uh, I drove to Red Rocks the other day. Okay. And I was hypermiling just to see what, how, how good I could do. <laughs> On the highway a little yeah. bit. I was trying to impress my wife because she was not very happy about miles per gallon. Yes. Well, it's worse than the Subaru for sure well the, yeah you know the i thought that the subaru was going to be good but i get about the same oh which is, yeah about about 22 23. okay that's okay yeah um so yeah uh, i want to do of course more with mine as the engine gets a little bit more broken in and a little bit more uh used i want to do an mpg loop and so we can actually get the real numbers yeah. uh, for this 
I also noticed you have an auxiliary. Correct. Do, do you have anything hooked up to this? No, nothing. I thought that this was to power the back, the plug, uh -huh. but apparently it's not. It's actually for me to add something in the future if I want to. Now, I don't know how, <laughs> but... That, yeah, that's the thing with trucks. There's possibilities, but you need to learn all this yeah, stuff. Yeah, it, it's all very so, good to me. So what I've seen this used for on the ZR2, what was it? Is it the light bar that they have on yeah, top? Yeah, there was a light bar on top yeah. that this was uh, button hooked up to. Yeah. Um, you could also put lights, you know, outside yeah, the uh, on, ones, the, yeah. on by the windscreen. Um, so, but how do you, yeah, the question is, how do you connect something to it? There must be um, a manual Somebody for that. smarter than me will do it. <laughs> Um, also, you can put all four windows down. Correct. Now, they miss an opportunity to be able to put all four windows up, which is silly. Where? You can't. Yeah, you can't do it. No, you have to do it on your side. Yeah. It was a missed opportunity, I think, over here. But they've been, been doing it for several years. Even Silverado they? trucks have this. That uh, only goes down? Yeah, only goes down. I don't know why. I guess it's just to evacuate air immediately. Yeah, because this week I've been showing off to my friends and they're all like, wait, why does it only go down? What, why is it not up? <laughs> That's kind of interesting. Um, are there elements are about the same? Yeah, the only the other difference is that I have power seats. Yes. Yeah. Which makes you a lot of fine adjustments, right? Correct. You can make small adjustments yeah. and mine, I have a le lever I have to pull and it kind of goes yeah. a little jerky, right? So. Because this seat is manual, right? This seat's manual, yeah. So. And the other thing that was really weird that I thought was an option in this car is it's the armrest in the back. It doesn't come standard with it, which. I don't have one. It's, it's, I don't get it. Uh, also, I've That's, noticed. This is also not standard. A vanity lights. Yeah. I don't have this. Yeah, I know. Yeah, it's, uh, it, it was an check, option. Let me check something else. Oh, look. Yours doesn't do Mine that. doesn't slide. Uh, yeah, that's a necessity. But how cheap, how, how much do you think this costs? Maybe a dollar? It's nothing. It, it's some of the decisions that Chevy made with this truck. Uh, it's, it's, you know, but, I don't get it. Some but you know, they're not alone. You know, this is kind of an industry thing. Yeah. Because a, a lot of the times, you know, like you said, heated seats, but they're wrapped into something else, right? Correct. You have to get something else in order to get that. Yeah. Like cruise control is tied into the rear glass. So let's, let's take a look in the back at the rear seat. Yeah, because I have a, a manual sliding window. Even the Denali Canyon had a manual. Oh, yeah? Yeah, they don't have a powered solution, at least right now. So this is kind of a manual seat. Uh, but and take I also a... have a heating element, too. Yep, that's important. Yeah. yeah. But take a look in here. So you have pockets. Pockets. I don't that, have pockets. That's also option, which is, <laughs> again... Can you show the uh, center? Armrest. Oh yeah, so another option. I mean, I figure all these things should be standard on a car, you know? And the, I also have a plug down here. I have another uh, household plug there. That's really important. I, I kind of am um, bummed I don't have that. But I do have vents. Yeah. I have rear vents, which is important and for rear passengers. I think that comes standard in all of them. And then when you move this, can we move this? Yeah. There's, there's not a lot of storage here. No, uh, I, I've looked at some uh, full-size trucks where they don't have this part, so it actually becomes a useful... Like a and, floor, Yeah, right? and I wish that was the case for this. So I asked Chevrolet engineers, GM, I asked them, first of all, why this has to be here? And also, you have a component on that side? Yeah, we don't know what this so is. So that's an yeah. electrical component. Okay. That's not anything we should take apart, <laughs> right? It's part of the electronics of the truck. Um, and they said the other structure, so this stuff is is for strength of okay. the seat. Okay. So when the seat goes up and down. But but they took away some space. Yeah, yeah. And it's one of the things I was kind of looking, again, I, I carry a lot of stuff. So have, being able to have a flat floor would have been great. But. So then um, a couple more things you can do in the bed. Let me show you. So. First of all, you're talking about the tonneau cover, right? Getting one right away. Yes, yeah, so you can do that. You can also do toolboxes, of yeah. course, but they also sell, you see these holes, right? So you could put additional um, strap holders, Yeah. or they sell kind of a molly panel that attaches in here. And it's basically this kind of like a 
like a metal board. Oh, like the Frontiers have. Yeah. Yeah. With with holes, it's called Molly system, so you can add additional accessories that oh, can, that can nice. hang. Yeah. So you could put some fun things, you know, like max tracks or some storage boxes. Yeah. You know, on the side, on both sides. Yeah, because I think this, this I, it's nice to have these four tie down spots, but I, I would need more. Yeah. Oh, and you have, this is dampened. Yeah. And the other thing you also, that I remember you mentioning in one of your videos is, it's this that also you don't have, right? Oh, yeah. And so it comes standard on mine. Gosh. Can we trade trucks? Sure. <laughs> so your final cost of your truck, hold on a second, was, so you can put a, like a big piece of material yeah. so it can hang here. Your final cost was over 44? It was 44.7, I think. Okay, mine was 41.3 or something yeah. like that. So that's what the different options make. Correct. Um, how yeah. was your purchasing experience? Because you told me there was a market adjustment on your truck? Yeah, they did a markup. They did a markup of $2,000. Um, I was okay with it. I, I, I wasn't thrilled. Originally, they wanted five thousand, uh -huh. and I said I'm not going to pay five thousand. So we yeah, agreed on two. That's not. But you pre-ordered this too. I pre-ordered mid-December. Yeah, that's that's not right. Yeah, yeah I wasn't right. thrilled, but I went to three different dealerships, and everyone was giving me a markup, and the other markups were absurd. Almost seven thousand dollars markup on one, and I think it has to do with allocation, how much many trucks they can get. Yeah. Uh, and I know there, the supply is not that great of these right now. It's not there yet. So, I mean, they'll get there eventually yeah. as more of these are, are being built. And I had to miss out on some features that I wanted because of the chip shortage. So I, I wanted to get surround, I wanted to get the autonomous cruise. Okay, which been, or the adaptive. The adaptive cruise, adaptive which cruise. I became very familiar and very comfortable with in the Subaru. Okay. So I don't have that. Bec and they told you it was because chip of sh chip shortage. Because they, they were uh, prioritizing the, the Z71 and... and uh, oh, the ZR2. And the ZR2 to have those cameras instead of mine. And the adaptive system. Correct. And I missed out on, uh, on the cameras and there was something else with some... Did you care about the sunroof or that I don't wasn't... even... I have sunroofs on my other cars and I okay. don't even open them. Okay. So it wasn't... For me, it wasn't even a, a thought. And it has some other pedestrian, a rear pedestrian uh, auto stop, which okay. mine does not have. I have a, re, uh, a cross traffic stop, uh -huh. but not a pedestrian stop, which I was fine with that. Interesting. Yeah. Interesting. And that's it. And that's all the features. And, although I, and I didn't get the total package, of course, but yeah, you it can seems like see I'll be here. able to add it. You can see it here. And this is where the trailer wiring uh, hookups yeah. uh, go down here. So but, I'm hoping that because it has that, that it could be upgraded in the future. But look, I kind of like it. Your bed is a little bit lower. If you come up to mine, like, can you reach the floor of this bed? Yeah. So that's pretty nice, right? Yeah. Um, check out mine. By the way, uh, before we get to the bed, I wanted to show you. See, I have no lights and, oh, this, doesn't, and this doesn't move. Yeah. It doesn't move. Uh, I'm gonna have to swap that out. I don't care about lights. I don't look at myself. Yeah, me neither. <laughs> but I, I do care about uh, sun. You know, blocking out yes. the sun. So, but look at this. This is a little bit taller. I wonder, can you go around? Oh yeah. Yeah, and you're taller than me. Yeah, it's a. Uh, it's a little bit more it's difficult. A little bit harder, yeah. yeah. But that's okay. They, they built a really good bumper. Yeah, right? I like so that. You, can, you could put your foot in the corner step here kind of climb in I also don't have a separate key oh yeah my locks yeah but mine does lock it locks with the doors yeah so with the doors thank goodness because yeah. sometimes people steal tailgates yeah yeah um, so my locks with the key but I don't have a separate key. but I don't care about that no. I, I think that's okay. I don't think anybody ever uses a key do they use keys anymore yeah and look I don't have that feature yeah um, there is nothing on the side of my uh, my tailgate, and here. it looks like it's not screwed in. It looks like it's uh, welded in, like right? Welded. So, so I might have to learn how to weld. <laughs> <laughs> also, I noticed this on my truck too. Um, sometimes these cables are quick connect, mm -hmm. so which is easier to steal. And this is actually a bolt, Make so, it a little bit harder. so you have to really unbolt it first before you can actually steal this. So I think that's a nice feature. Yeah. 
So are you fairly happy still? I mean, we talked about some of the negatives and some of the positives. No, I'm very happy. Uh, you know, it's still getting used to it. But yeah, this for me, it's it, it's like a little a little kind of dream for me, you know, to have a nice little truck and and start having some fun here in Colorado. There's so much stuff to do over here. Yeah. So I'm excited to get started. It's only been city driving so far, but yeah. uh, my wife and I are planning a little trip somewhere. I'll maybe go up to the high country as you guys Well, this call is definitely, it. yeah, more clearance than a Subaru, right? So oh, yeah, you, yeah. You could do a little bit more, you know, a little bit more challenging terrain. Maybe you can start like Switzerland Trail is near Boulder. Okay. Which is kind of an easier, there's not a lot of crawling. Yeah. Just kind of a more flat, but still in the mountains, right? Yeah, I just so, need to get rid of that air dam. Uh, you could you could start with it. And there's no protection on the bottom at all, <laughs> which... Which they sell skid plates. Yeah, I'm going to so, have to get something. So, but I think the first trip or first couple of trips, you could just yeah, go no, without I'm gonna it. Yeah, I'm going to start slow. <laughs> yeah. And do you like the power? Power's great. Yeah, it's, it's more than plenty. I, I think upgrading the engine, it's more like I want than I need. You yeah. Know? It's kind of cool, right? Yeah. yeah. And I, I will change just for funsies. I'm going to change to black later, to the black. Oh, did you see also they have a kind of an LED surround? Yeah, I saw that. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to get that, but I definitely get black because uh, it looks black. nice on your truck. Blacked out, yeah. blacked out badge. Well, well, thank you for coming out. Of course, it's my pleasure. Yeah, Sharing it's nice your to truck. Meet you guys. You're also supporting us on Patreon. Yeah. I really want to thank you of for course, that. Yeah. I, I've I really, been watching you guys for years. I really appreciate that. And now you're here near us. So yeah. uh, maybe we should go off road one, one of these days. Let's do it. You guys, you guys can teach me some stuff because so. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. And as always, check out OTFL.com for everything automotive in one place. And we'll be doing more fun things with our trucks including some serious testing. So I want to tow a heavy trailer with mine yeah. up I gauntlet and I want to go off road and fuel efficiency because that's important, right? Yeah, yeah. Fuel efficiency is very important. Still getting about 18. Yes. I think it might get better, but how much better, we, we don't know. We don't know. All right. Thank you guys. Uh, we'll see you next time.